So this is Photo Forge 2. It's $3.99 for the iPhone, and it is the probably the most powerful photo editing app for iPhone. So when you open it up, you'll see all the pictures that you have worked on before, and you'll be seeing the edited version of those photos. Uh, here's one I just imported from Ireland, and I want you guys to see the cool menu. On the bottom, you can scroll to see all of the different controls, all of the different uh, adjustments you can make to the photo. So here's brightness, contrast, levels, curves. I'm going to go into brightness and contrast and notice the little eye on the corner there. That makes the toggles transparent so that you can still see the photo in the background while you're making the changes that you want to make. And at the top you'll notice the little loading bar. Every time you make a change or anything, it's going to take a little bit of time to load. Um, this effects portion, these are a couple filters that it comes with. And you'll notice that unlike other apps, you can actually control the strength uh, of the filter there. So here I just want to scroll through. There's neon, there's night vision, uh, television effects, uh, that one, the Sin City effect, fisheye effects, clouds. We'll get into that a little later. Usually, if you can find it in Photoshop, you'll find it in PhotoForge. So here we're going to go into PopCam, and what this lets you do is uh, it's a cool filter system. So here you have a whole bunch of different uh, film rolls, and each one has a different effect. Um, these you can choose for different lenses, so it'll make the photo look like it was taken with a different kind of lens. Here are some filters that you can choose from. Uh, some of them are coloring filters. So this one uh, brightens it up a little bit, makes it a little warmer. So some of these lenses have effects on them. So for instance, here's the kaleidoscope. And it'll look like the photo was taken with the kaleidoscopic lens. Here's another toolbar. Uh, what you can do with this one is do straight, straightening, cropping, uh, put textures on your photo. So here you can scroll through a whole bunch of um, like paper textures and these come in the app you don't have to download them or get them from anywhere or purchase them so you can set opacity levels you can set uh, like how much it mixes with the the uh, picture below and you can actually even change the blending mode so you could do a normal you could do multiply darken depending on what f what works best with your photo one cool feature is the straightening feature because when you straighten a photo with this app what it'll have a it has a little dial on the bottom and it'll always make sure that it's cropped so that your photo will not have any black spaces in the corners or anything and it has the bar so that it'll look straight so here I straighten one and now I'm showing you guys the layers you could do layers in this app just like you can in Photoshop you can import a photo or on this uh, bottom one, you, you can make a blank layer and do uh, maybe a solid color. So we're going to do a fill color. I'm going to show you guys um, maybe red here. It's a little darker. And there's red. You can do that. And then maybe uh, change the blending mode on that and make it look cool with, with your photo beneath it. But um, instead of doing just a solid color, I'm going to show you guys the clouds. We're going to make these clouds red. And then we're going to put them, we're going to overlay them over the photo. So I'm changing it to overlay, and as you can see, it gives the photo under it a really cool effect with all this, uh, you know, random red spots in it. Um, I'm going to go into the masking tool right now. So it's kind of like the quick mask in Photoshop, which is very, very cool that this uh, app can do it. So right now we're in the uh, brush mode, and I'm going to, I'm just trying to single out the sky. So the buildings kind of make a triangle and I'm just gonna make it so that it works in the sky. I'm inverting it so that the red only comes out in the sky and this is just an example to show you guys this is not supposed to look super good. My The job I did here is really bad actually. So here you can see that um, it has a really cool mode where you can actually see the picture in the background as well just to make sure that e it, it's really clean if you're going to be doing you know, a more professional job than this. But for now, this is good enough. It looks like a triangle. I'm just going to try to get it so that it's as close to the buildings as possible. It doesn't matter if we go over for now. So there's the final effect. And once we're done, you can export it. And the cool thing about the app is all the different export features. You can do uh, to your photo album, Twitter, Flickr, uh, Facebook. It does Instagram. 
It does um, all of them. You can even do an FTP server or send it to another phone. And uh, a couple things I didn't show you guys are the uh, uh, history. You can go back and change anything just like in Photoshop. Uh, so this is, uh, I think, the most powerful iPhone editing app. So if you want to see some more app reviews, click on an icon, subscribe if you'd like, and peace.